Hey coders and welcome to another sorting algorithm and today we're going over radix sort. Now the difference between this and other algorithms you've probably been through so far is that this compares the digits of the values in the array. Okay, not the whole integer value if you're sorting by integers or not the whole string if you're doing strings, it's the digits of, or characters of each of those values in the array. You're gonna to need to know what the LSD and MSD are. So LSD is the least significant digit and MSD is the most significant digit. So if we had the number 389, nine is the least significant digit where three is the most. The steps that are gonna be involved with this are we're gonna first find the maximum value in the array, then we're gonna iterate over that array number of digits in that value. So if the value is 389, we're gonna iterate over the array three times. Then for each iteration, we're gonna sort all the integers in the array based on the digits starting with the least significant digit. And then each time the loop jumps to the next digit and then by the end, the array is sorted. Here we're gonna have an array of 10 digits and the first thing that we're gonna to have to do is find the maximum value in the array. In this array, 741 is the maximum value. This means we're gonna to have to iterate three times. On the first iteration, we're gonna look at the ones place in all of these integers. Remember, we start at the least significant digit so here, it's gonna be the ones place in all of these. So for instance, 492, we're gonna look at the two, 588, we're gonna look at the eight, uh, five, we're just looking at the five. And remember, these aren't gonna be sorted in order this first time through. Don't be surprised whenever you see 741 before 492, because the one, which is in the ones place, is less than the two in 492, which is also in the ones place. Now we go ahead and sort the integers based on these ones place digits. As you can see, we have 91, 741, then 492, and 23, and so forth. That was just the first iteration. We have two more. The next iteration, we're gonna look at the tens place. For instance, this will be the four in 741, the three in 134, and the eight in 588. Well, the second eight in 588. But look at the five. There is no digit in the tens place. What do we do here? Well, if a number doesn't have a value in the digit place that you're looking at in this iteration, it's considered zero. Whenever we sort the five in this iteration, we're gonna pretend that that digit has a zero. The next thing we do is go ahead and sort all of these integers based on the tens digit. And whenever we did that, the five is definitely gonna be first, and then we have the two and 23, but 629 is still before 134 because the two, the tens place, was less than the three in 134. But that was just the second iteration, we have one more to go. For this last iteration, we look at the hundreds place. Now only five of these numbers actually have a digit in the hundreds place, which means the rest of them are gonna be counted as having a zero in their digits place. Now when we go to sort this, based on the hundreds digit, we'll finally get our full sorted algorithm. And congratulations, you just went through a radix sort. 